My love for fish and the art of fishing has grown so much over the years, which made me want to make my fishing trips more interesting. So I decided to set a goal for myself to catch every fish in my state. And I mean every fish, from the small micros to the huge giants. The first place I'm going to be fishing is my local river. Over the years, this place has dried up. Before, I would say there was about 20 species of fish to catch here. But since we've been hit with a drought, I'd say the number has dropped down to around 10. These fish here are the 10 target species, but this could change throughout the video. Anyways, let's get started. So for today, I'm going to be going after the bluegill to get it out of the way. And then, once I catch that, I'm going to use it as bait for a catfish or a gar. Hopefully a gar. With that being said, I headed to a spot where I know there's a bunch of bluegill. So this is the bait that I'm going to use. Get some hot dogs. Yeah, this is just a regular old bluegill. Caught him. First species. Small little guy. After catching the bluegill, I was walking down the creek and saw these small little fish in the shallow parts of the water. This gave me the idea to catch them by hand, and it was pretty simple. They kept funneling into the spot where it made it easy to catch them. So just like that, another species. Now with some bluegill as bait, I cast it out in hopes of catching a bigger fish. And not much time passed before something took the bait. I got bait. a fish on, I got a fish on. Oh my god, I see it. It's a catfish. Nice channel catfish. Got him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this guy. Sorry, buddy. I don't know, I know. What are you telling me right now? There you go. Channel catfish, I'm pretty sure. That guy's beautiful. That guy's the next day I kept seeing these mysterious fish. And to ensure I caught these fish, I bring my cast net and my fish trap. Oh. Damn. I see them. What are y'all? Where are they? I see them. The moment of truth. Please. Yes, I got one. What the hell are these? New species, new species. These mystery fish turn out to be self and mollies. These are aquarium fish. This is an amazing and unexpected find. The next day I set up some fish traps. Let's see what I caught. Oh my god. What is this? It's a red ear. And the other one was a hybrid. And now we got the pure one. 
He's big. There's another fish with it too. Let's check this one out though. Oh my. Ah, he spiked me. <laughs> hey, he barely fits in there. Big red ear, man. Now this one, what is it? Oh! There's a crawfish in there. And he pinched me. <laughs> I did not see you, man. Yeah, ooh, this is like a for sure warm out. Look at him. So a pure warm out. A red ear. But just like that, two new species. Well, I'm getting bites, but. These guys need to stay on. There you go. There you go. There's a fish. First fish of the day. Looks to be a... No, this is a hybrid right here. This might be a long ear. A new species. I was very wrong here. This is actually a red breast sunfish. Making that our seventh species. Ooh, got a fish, got a fish. This one's big. New species, yes! Yes! I've been trying to find this. Yes! Look at this guy. Look at this pretty fish right here, man. Look at this guy. That Texas cichlid. Yes. Look at him. Finally, I didn't expect this, man. So potentially in two new species. And this one I thought was going to be way harder. I mean, they're pretty common, but he hit it like right there. any more here oh there you go there you go oh and this is a green sunfish beautiful guy another fish species for the day a green sunfish, pretty fish. After catching most of our target species, I decided to search for a bass. And I remember spotting one a long time ago down the creek, but to my surprise. I don't know if you guys remember, but I made a video here where I caught those self and mollies. And now this place is all dried up. I hope the fish made it. That's really sad. This was only a few months after catching those self and mollies. So seeing it dry up that fast is just really sad. But I think it's safe to say we can eliminate the largemouth bass from the 10 target species. Along with the long ear sunfish, which I also spotted in the place that's now dried up. But let's put our sadness to the side. We still have one more species to catch. The spotted gar. 